hello you're yeah, welcome how to solve this nice six terms of equation from here we have x raised to power 5 plus y raised to power 5 equals to 33 and also x plus y equals to 3 let's label this as equation 1 and this as equation 2 from this expansion when we have x plus y to power 5 when we expand it to know the coefficient of this expansion, we can use Paxa triangle where we have 1, then 1, 1, the power of 2, that's 1, 2, 1, the power of 3, that's 1, 3, 3, 1, the power of 4, that's 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, and the power of 5, that will be 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, then 1. So this will be the coefficient of this expansion. Then here we have equals to x raised to power 5, then plus 5, x raised to power 4, then y. As this power of x decreases, power of y will be increasing. Then plus 10, x raised to power 3, y square, then plus 10 x square y raised to power 3 then plus 5 x y raised to power 4 then plus y raised to power 5 now so we have this coefficient there then we can rearrange this and this becomes x plus y raised to power 5 now equals to bring the power of 5 together we have x raised to power 5 plus y raised to power 5 then plus let's bring the coefficient of 5 together we have 5 x raised to power 4 y then plus 5 x y raised to power 4 at this power of 4 together then the power of 3 now together we have plus 10 x raised to power 3 y square also plus 10 x square then y raised to power 3 from here then here we can also rewrite this as x plus y raised to power 5 is equal to x to power 5 plus y to power 5 then plus what is common here is 5xy so we have 5xy into bracket we have x raised to power 3 here left then y raised to power 3 here left close bracket then plus what is common here is 10 x square y square then what is left here is x then what is left here is y then we can make some substitution here now from the Equation 1 and 2. Equation 2 we have x plus y equals to 3. So we can substitute x plus y here to be 3. And we have x raised to power 5 plus y raised to power 5 equals to 33. Also here we become 33. Then this equation from here becomes 3 raised to power 5 equals to here. We have 33. Then plus... 5xy into bracket x cube plus y cube then plus here we have 10 x square y square then multiply by 3 x plus y that's 3 then 3 raised to power 5 same thing as 3 multiply itself 5 places then from there that will be 243 which is equals to 33 plus 5xy into bracket x key y key then plus 10x square y square times 3 so that should be 30 x square y square then from here we can bring 2.3 from here to this side and rearrange and then we can write 5xy 
into bracket x cube plus y cube first then we write plus 30 x square y square then when we take this one here become minus and 33 minus 2 for 3 that's minus 2 and 10 which is equal to 0 from here then <coughs> let's label this as equation 3 then from our equation 2 we have x plus y equals to 3 from equation 2 then from here let's raise both sides of this equation to you know power 3 then the expansion on this side will be x cube plus 3 x square y plus 3 x y square then plus y cube will be equals to 3 cube that's 27 then Let's bring the power of 3 together. We have x raised to power 3 plus y raised to power 3. Then we factor what is common here. That's plus 3xy into bracket x plus y less here. Then equals to 27. Then from here, we can still say this is x cube plus y cube. Then plus 3xy times x plus y from equation 2 that's 3 which is equal to 27 <coughs> then from here 3 times 3 that's 9 let's take it to that side and we have x cube plus y cube equals to 27 minus 9xy then let this be equation 4 now we can substitute equation 4 in our equation 3 that is where we see s cube plus y, y cube we can put 27 minus 9xy so equation 3 can now become 5xy into bracket 27 minus 9xy then plus 30x square y square minus 210 will then be equal to 0 then from here we can expand 5x y times 27 that will give us 135 xy then minus here 5x y times minus 9 x y that gives us minus 45 x square y square then plus 30 x square y square minus 210 equals to 0 then from here let's collect this like term minus 45 x square y square plus 30 x square y square give us minus 15 let's try that first that's minus 15 x square y square <coughs> then from here we have plus 135 x y then minus 210 equals to zero from here we can divide through by minus 15. Divide these two by minus 15. Then this minus turn to plus and we have x square y square left here. Then this will turn to minus 9 x y from here. Then this turn to plus 14 from here. Then equals to 0. So this forms like a quadratic equation in terms of x and y which we can solve by factorizing two numbers when we multiply to give us plus 14 and when we have we have minus 9 that should be minus 7 xy now then minus 2 xy from here then we combine this together as x square y square then plus 14 from here equals to 0 so we group this together to 2 and we factorize from this side xy is common so we factor it out xy into bracket remain xy here then minus 7 left there then from this side we have minus 2 common into bracket xy left then minus 7 left which is equals to 0 
then x y minus 7 is common we have x y minus 7 then left with x y minus 2 which is equal to 0 from here then here we have two cases x y minus 7 equals to 0 or we have x y minus 2 equals to 0 then from here we can take minus 7 here and we have x y equals to 7 same thing here x y equals to 2 then let's bring equation 2 together with this that is from equation 2 we have x plus y equals to 3 then we can solve this simultaneously let's make x the subject here and we have x equals to 3 minus y so here we can substitute this back into this equation here and uh, from here this will become x is now 3 minus y 10 times y equals to 7 same thing here when we substitute it here we can have 3 minus y times y will now be equal to 2 so now let's expand so this becomes 3y minus y square equals to 7 and when we rearrange from here this becomes y square minus 3y plus 7 equals to 0 we took everything here there so minus is turn to plus and plus is turn to minus also on this side when we open this will be 3y then minus y square equals to 2 as well then on this side we also take everything to that side we have y square minus 3y plus 2 equals to 0 now let's solve this side first from here and uh, this will give us you know we use a quadratic formula from here then from this side you can say y is now equals to minus b that's minus minus 3 plus or minus square root of b square minus 3 square then minus 4 ac a is 1 c is 7 then over 2a that's 2 times 1 then from here y will then be equals to plus 3 that's 3 plus or minus square root of we have 9 now then minus 28 over 2 so 9 minus 28 that's minus 19 that's y equals to 3 plus or minus square root of minus 19 that's square root of 19 r because square root of minus 1 is r so over 2 now which we can separate into two values of y and we say the first one y1 will be equal to 3 over 2 plus root 19i over 2 when we separate it into two fractions then we can say y2 from here will be equal to 3 over 2 minus root 19i over 2 then from here we can get the corresponding values of x from this relation that is x equals to 3 minus y and uh, we can now say x1 will now be 3 minus y1 which is 3 over 2 plus root 19i over 2 now here minus open this bracket and uh, this gives us 3 minus 3 over 2 then minus root 19i over 2 so bring this together as one that will still give us 3 over 2 so x1 now equals to 3 over 2 then minus root 19i over 2 so we have x1 here the value of x1 here and y1 here also we can get x2 from this relation x2 also will be 3 minus y y2 which is 3 over 2 minus root 19i over 2 
and from here of course minus you open the bracket as well and this is x2 now equals to 3 minus 3 over 2 plus root 19r over 2 and bringing this together as well as well x is now equals to 3 over 2 plus root 19r over 2 so we have you know two set of solutions already we have y1 x1 y1 and x2 y2 now let's come back here now to solve this other quadratic equation here we can factorize the factors of 2 that will give us minus 3 that should be minus 2y minus y this will be minus 3 and this will be plus 2y squared so we join it with y squared then plus 2 equals to 0 and from here factor this and group it to 2 we have y out then y minus 2 left the minus 1 out here we have y minus 2 left equal to 0 then we have y minus 2 common then y minus 1 remain equals to 0 then from here y minus 2 equals to 0 or we have y minus 1 equals to 0 here we have y equals to 2 or we have y equals to 1 so let this be y3, this will be y4. Now to get x3 from here, from the relation as well, which is x equals to 3 minus y. So x3 now will then be equal to 3 minus y3, that's 3 minus 2. So x3 now is equal to 1. Also we get, you know, the value of x3 and y3. Then also we can get x4 by saying this is 3 minus y4 which is 1. So x4 here equals to 2. So now we got we got four sets of solutions from here. And uh, which of course we can write it out properly. And uh, from the first one we can say we have y x1 comma y1 we got that to be equals to from here we have x1 to be 3 over 2 minus root 19 high and y1 to be 3 over 2 plus root 19 high which are complex solution there so we have 3 over 2 minus root 19 i over 2 comma we have 3 over 2 plus root 19r over 2. Then the second set that's x2, y2. From here, we got that to be equals to x2 is 3 over 2 plus root 19r over 2. Then comma y2 is 3 over 2 minus root 19r over 2 so we discover that the value of x here is the value of y here and the value of y here is the value of x here then the third set we have x3 y3 which is a resolution from there and uh, we have 1 comma 2 from here that is x3 is 1 y3 is 2 and the fourth set of solution we have from here we have x4 comma y4 now equals to 2 comma 1 so also the value of x is the value of y here and the value of y is the value of x here and here we have come to the end of this problem thank you for watching don't forget these steps Subscribe for more exciting videos, turn the notification bell on, share this video, give it a thumbs up, put your comment in the comment section, we have another way of solving this, and thank you for watching, see you next class, and bye for now.